like to offer you here an atonal phrase that might give you some head start into improvising in this way or of creating lines that avoid tonality. If you've not yet done so, I'd appreciate it very much if you would subscribe to the channel, like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd care to make a donation, there's a link to PayPal in the description below. And we'll get started here with an atonal line. This is just something I started playing this morning and decided to record it, share it with you in, in the hopes that it might spark some ideas and creativity of your own. So here's a fourth initially, A to D, seventh fret of the fourth and third strings, but that fourth immediately gives up its consonants to become a flatted fifth. So A, D, E flat, then B and F, which is another kind of tritone or flatted fifth. What I played at the beginning were three different versions of this phrase moved to different locations on the board and phrased rhythmically in a different way each time. That's part of the fun of this style of improvising and playing is to try to find rhythmic resolutions that feel a little different and perhaps unexpected and fresh. So it wouldn't be conventional length of bars or conventional length of notes, but try to find something rhythmically that surprises you. That's our phrase, but I'm phrasing a little different. So I'll call out frets seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we immediately fall back into B flat and G eight and eight on strings four and two. How about E and F sharp nine and seven on strings three and two? F sharp. So it looks like C7 for a second, but then we pull out. This is F sharp, 7th fret of the 2nd string to C, 10th fret of the 4th string. How about from C we go to D flat, 1st string, ninth fret. D sharp, 8th fret of the 3rd string. So we're getting this kind of cluster of notes. If I play through it without any phrasing and just slow quarter notes, Tonality seems to bloom for a second and then it's subverted into something else. I'm going to try it spontaneously. another set of strings just for fun see what the mechanism of the fingering gives us there I improvised at the end so it goes on and on this is just a fun way to play if you're interested in it you could listen to the music of Arnold Schoenberg Anton Webern and Alban Berg the second Viennese school as they were called wonderful stuff I hope this finds you enjoying your music finding new ideas that excite you, and I do wish you a very good day.